Hey guys, Fusebox back on Raid Shadow Legends, and today we're just having fun. I'm on one of my clanmates' accounts. Um, they're wanting to just uh, make a consistent, faster spider team on stage 20 to farm, you know, for silver, for banners. Everybody needs accuracy banners. Uh, so we, we did that, uh, and he already had a plan in place, so I got it, I got it working good. Uh, it definitely brought up something that I want to talk about that is probably something everybody should pay attention to. Uh, but first, if you don't mind signing in, subbing, it's free. I don't charge a thing. If you sub up, it keeps me motivated. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, hit the like button. Don't be afraid to leave comments. By the way, if you ever have a question, is this hero worth building all the way or whatever, throw it on any of these videos. It doesn't have to be about the com I'm going to answer every comment. Um, anyways, I appreciate your time. So back to this. <clears throat> Let's talk about, uh, he, he had already built up Mordecai, who is absolutely amazing, like ridiculous for the spider. Look at look at this. We've got turn meter on his depletion on his A1, if it's under HP burn. You've got turn meter depletion of all the enemies, and it increases your turn meter, and then you've got a full HP burn, which is beautiful. This is not an attack, so you don't have to worry about weak hits, because it is the wrong affinity for stage 20, but it doesn't matter. This guy's ready to go. And if you needed it, you've even got an accuracy aura for everybody in all battles. So he's absolutely great. Uh, I want to talk about what was missing, though. Uh, well, first of all, I made the team and it worked. So off the bat, it worked. I tweaked everybody's gear a little bit and it did work fine. But man, sometimes it would take longer than others. It was faster than what we had before. But it was just sometimes it was taking a while. And then I discovered this. I was looking through skills and I didn't realize the most important skills weren't booked out and we have the books. So we went ahead and used them because uh, this guy's just too good not to not to use. He'll work all the way from stage one to twenty five. So it's definitely worth building him out. Uh, but yeah, yeah, just the most important cooldown, specifically this one was missing. But that's not all on every character on the team. I was wondering, uh, so I, I brought in a tank and I brought in rosin for that. <clears throat> We're missing turn meter control on this account pretty much, period. So rosin's almost one of the few choices I have for turn meter control, aside from Mordecai himself. So I wanted to use him. He makes a great tank, and I realize he won't always he won't always land this. So it's it's going to be sometimes it takes an extra thirty seconds or something, but. Uh, you know, at least he can fully deplete the spider's turn meter. And it might help if he can land weak and decrease weak, decrease defense and weak and get it together. Uh, so, you know, I wanted to bring him in. And uh, he was fully booked out. I was super excited. And his damage, I was, you know, I had I'd built him, I kind of tweaked his gear a little bit, but what was going on, he had no masteries. Fully booked heroes with no masteries. Masteries are so well, no, no, he had the first two, but they're so important. They like when you get a good hero, I think whatever it doesn't matter if it's spiders or what you're working on, Doom Tower. When you find a hero and you know you you have uses for him, you want to use that hero, go all the way. Try to get your forever gear on them. I know that changes sometimes. Doom Tower makes me reroll gear all the time, but try to get like the best gear that you have available for that hero. Of course, that can get better with time, but masteries, level 60 all the way. If you're booking them, book them all the way before you move to another character. Uh, getting them half finished leaves like Mordecai with an extra cooldown on two of his moves and both are important since we have no turn meter depletion. And because of that, by the way, when, when I get a weak hit with Rosin, we will have to deal with the hot spider healing and then kill him later. But now I'm not waiting as long as I was before for that HP burn to come back around. Uh, but there were lots of heroes. Um, and, and I saw still the drinks completely built out with no masteries at all. You guys know I love Seal. It broke my heart. She's a part of this team. She brings some chance for some turn meter control. She heals everybody. I've got her in a reflex set now. Uh, gear set. I, I can't roll it all up. Silver is just a little bit tight, but she's doing much better. Higher HP, decent defense. She's actually got some crit rate. She could use more crit damage with a, you know, that's what we're doing. We're getting spider gear. We'll get her a good necklace, a six star, put it on her. But no masteries. Now, 
before we do this team, let's look at how important just War Master is on a big bus. Yeah. We're going to do like a test. This guy, look at this, over 20,000 energy. Like I'd have to quit my job if I had that. That is amazing. I've never seen over 20,000 energy in my life. So that's super cool. Uh, because I, I think we can afford to go in here and do a test. I think we can do a test here. I did use your gems to get some masteries on a several people. Not everybody on this team is ma uh, fully mastered. We'll talk about that a little more in a minute. Uh, but you got some goodies in your bag to make up for it. So here's the deal. We're not going in here to kill it this time. We're going to take it off of auto and we're going to look at what War Master does. So I do not have War Master yet on Doom Priest. He, I think you need like 60 or 100 more scrolls and she'll be fully, fully mastered it out. So without War Master, um, let's look at, okay, here's what we want to see. Let's put this on one. With no decreased defense or weaken. What does Rosin do with his regular hits, and what does he do with a Giant Slayer proc? Regular hit, 2700. 27, All right, we're going to come back around. We're going to come back around and see what he does when he does proc War Master. So let's just keep ourselves alive, and then we'll get out of here and, and run this proper. Uh, we'll go ahead and HP burn, though. It's a beautiful thing. A clean, 100% guaranteed HP burn. So uh, let's let's do this again, and we surely will hit at least one War Master proc this time. We're hitting for almost three thousand, but thirty four thousand twice because of Giant Slayer. Because he hits three times, we have Giant Slayer. Think of the difference there. And we're gonna we're gonna let's get back around because that's not nearly all thirty four thousand compared to three thousand on each hit. And then wait till you see what happens when we do land decrease defense and weaken. Unless we get a weak hit. Yeah, that's always a possibility. But let's let's put decrease defense and weaken down. We just procced a giant slayer for 92,000 before weaken was up. That's that's crazy. So we have it on seal. So she can hit it. She has a chance. We don't have it on uh, miscreated monsters about halfway with his masteries. Mordecai can do it. He didn't get it. How unlucky am I? Just it's, it, she doesn't have it. Seal can do it. All right, here, here we go. Now let's get a giant slayer proc. Ninety-two thousand. Ninety-two thousand. So let's get out of here. You're hitting for two to four thousand, but every time you proc that, you're hitting for thirty to ninety thousand. The difference is amazing. So imagine when you're getting those procs from War Master here, Giant Slayer here, War Master here, here, and here. Total game changer. Masteries are so important. If you have a good hero, go all the way with them. It's going to help you. Like Rosin, with that, now, take him into Fire Knight. Whatever he was doing before, he's going to do that much more on the Fire Knight. Because now he's going to get tons more damage on top. And his build could be much stronger. But he's built well. Um... That's just such a huge difference. I wanted to go over it. Now let's check out the team that we built. So uh, our previous time, we're, all right, here we are. My fastest time so far is 132. And sometimes because I have no real turn meter depletion, all we need is Vizix the Unbowed or an Armager built out to keep that turn meter down. A Cold Heart would be a dream for this account, but we don't have it. We just don't have it. Lissandra would be amazing. So we're going to come in here and we're trying to beat this time. We definitely beat it. Uh, one minute 32. It ranges. It ranges even closer to a minute. I've got this built as an auto team in your presets. The spider burn team. And the only thing is I've got doom priests a two turned off. Nobody needs increased attack. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, she, once she has war master, that means she'll proc more war masters by hitting with her a one every single turn. That's the main reason that I turned off her A2, but she doesn't have it yet. So do finish her out. So here's where the RNG comes in. Because Rosin is the wrong affinity, we may get a weak hit when he tries to deplete this turn meter. We actually got it that time. So uh, we can't control that turn meter much more, but we're doing good. Uh, we actually got lucky. Seal the Drakes once in a while. She's unbooked. She definitely deserves books. If there's, a, she can go into almost every team you make. 
I wouldn't take her on Bommel, Bommel Dreadhorn, but because she, she'll proc more bombs. But everywhere else, she's so amazing. So these HP burns are just eating this thing alive. Everybody else is here just to support us. This created monster's giving us a shield. Seal is just healing us and keeping uh, everything stunned when she can. Doom Priest is basically, basically here because we don't have any other options. She's going to keep us healed if anything goes wrong. She'll clean some of them poisons off. Um, and uh, she does speed up Mordecai and Rosin since all three of them are the Force Affinity. So that's pretty cool. So here's the thing. we're gonna The spider is going to heal up. It's just going to happen. But now that we have books on Mordecai, we should quickly get our HP burns back up and finish his job. There they are. It's over. He did his job. Game over. So this one's going to take, it looks like, I don't know, a minute 50. Some are faster. Some are slower. But definitely a, a safe team. This sure has been for me. And it gets done pretty quick. Once them spiders start taking their turns, it's going to go pretty fast. Sometimes the animations caught. See, now right there, Rosin got that weak hit, so we couldn't deplete turn meter. It doesn't matter. We're past the heal, and the spider's not going to make it enough turns to get back to it. So it's over. That one took two minutes. So it's not It's not always a minute and 40 seconds. It's sometimes it's two minutes. But uh, it's definitely easy. There's a six star right there. Crit damage, too. Look at that. With resistance. Not a bad piece at all. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you. Don't forget, there's some goodies in your bag. I appreciate you letting me get on your account and have fun. Some of these champs I don't have, so it's totally cool to get to play with a bad Elkazar when I've never had one. Uh, but for everybody out there, definitely focus on masteries. I, they they do. It's not just that tier six mastery. Like when you take Seal the Drakes, where is she? Um, on her masteries. You know, we're going pretty much straight into War Master, choosing what makes the most sense for us. But you can increase her HP, which increases her heals. Then you can increase her heals, and you can increase her heals again. You can cycle back around to her stun and her revive. You can make her move faster as her increased speeds wear off. You can make those speeds last longer. You can increase her heals more if anybody's under a, a stun. Uh, you can increase her chance to deplete turn meter, her chance to uh, land a, a slow. She does so many things. And uh, every one of these masters is so important, like super important. You know, poor Rosin with no masteries, the damage he could have done, it, you know. So now we've got Mordecai, Rosin, and still the Drakes fully mastered. They're going to do so much work everywhere you take them. Uh, and again, Anybody, if you want to drop any comments, you, you don't have to always ask about this. It's hard to reach me. I'm a busy guy. I do have a Discord. I'll leave that in the link below. Uh, but however you want to reach me, you can just comment right here and that we can communicate through here if you need. Uh, I appreciate everybody's time. And uh, definitely, Steve, thanks for getting me on here. Uh, all the newer members of our guild, our clan, by the way, like truly you guys are amazing i like your positive attitudes thank you all so much i'm glad you're here and join the team anybody that wants to join come sign up